we are looking at an AI tool called Crea, Crea AI. It's a free AI tool that helps you do different things. One is this, the AI generation, and answer video. In this video, we would be looking at how to upscale and enhance images. We would be trying that out with different images from different styles and seeing how effective this tool is. And the good thing is it has a free tier compared to Magnific. So let's try this out. Once you select the enhance, this is how it looks like. I have a list of images that I would be testing out. So for a start, let's give it something very simple. I have this blood one. So once you upload the image, once you upload the image, you sort of see it gets in uploaded into the system and you see the upscaling factor. Uh, if you click on settings here, you would see the prompt it came up with for it. If you check that out a little, it says the image captures a dynamic street scene in Vietnam and so on. So you would see the default, uh, these are different, different way you want your image to come out. Do you want it to be flat, sharp, strong, reinterpretation, or a painting or like a digital art, AI strength, resemblance. So for now, I would leave everything as the default and just enhance, just to see what it comes up with with everything as the default. So it's enhancing and we are waiting. This is the result and this is what it looks like. So still, yeah, we have some parts that are clear. It's still a bit, yeah. It's a bit sharper, I would say. It's a bit sharp. Have this, this, yeah. This place looks kind of cartoonish. So, let's let's use another image now the next image we'll be using is a good test the next image is to see how good the ai model is we'll be using an image that involves like fingers and just to see how let's see how best this model regenerate things because a lot of ai models are not good with replicating the fingers and in this one we would make resemblance 100 and clarity 100 so Let's enhance. So while we are waiting for this to get enhanced, we'll see how this works. Once you upload, it reconverts to a prompt. And these are like the available settings for you to use, to tweak, to suit you. These are like the available settings. And you can play around to find what works. You can also turn on color corrections. So. Now for this picture, this is it, and uh, hmm. uh, yeah, this is not great. This did not come out well at all. Let's reduce the resemblance a little and put the AI at 60. And let's clarity a little. So we have 70, 80, and let's retry that. So the issue with this one is it's becoming quite more like a like an anime kind of style, which is a bit different from what we want. Because this is a blood image of uh, someone covering our eyes with our, fin our face with our fingers. So, okay, let's see this one and see the outcome here. Yeah, so this is not perfect, but it's it's a bit better than this one. This one is not great at all. So just tweaking this a little is going to help and the, uh, I would say the model will keep improving because the fingers are not. So this is like the front of the finger, but in the picture, it's like the back and side of the finger. So it's the palm facing out, but in what is here, it's like the fore part of your finger facing out, which is like different, which is why there's also an issue here. Okay, next, let's try another picture with fingers. But this time, for this picture, it's going to be like a 
side profile picture and um let's also make 8080 for the semblance and um, clarity should be 80 also okay so we can enhance this so for this also there's fingers we have fingers in this one and we have like a side profile we want to see what the model will enhance for this one then we would compare it so okay so we have this here and um and okay partially better but this finger last one is not coming out well i think in the face is still a little bit okay but uh okay so let's reduce this clarity and leave it like this but increase the ai strength so we are trying again to see what comes up here so the issue here is is that there's an issue with the finger and there's also an issue with the cloth so it's like you are losing both the material and you're losing like the complete picture of the person also so so this is how you enhance i'm just testing the quality if you want to have higher upscaling factor you can click this you will see the dimension of that so we are doing the second announcement trying to see how what that will come out of okay so the second announcement is better so it uses more ai strength the hands are a bit better but okay the hands are a bit better this time i think it's the for this last one is a factor of the picture the picture is not like complete complete so that's why yeah mm, this is quite great not perfect but i would say like a uh, five or six over ten and with time there'll be improvement for free so i think it's okay i'll we have just two more pictures to go one is a proper blurry one so we have this one and in this one we are trying to have someone with a distinct color in a kind of like a uh, blood background and we want to see how I would use the default for this one. We want to see how that will come out. So we have that and um, the enhancing model is pretty fast if you're not using considerable AI strength. So that is pretty fast. So let's see what this will come up with. Okay, so. Oops, oops, this did not come out well at all. <laughs> this is a bit off the picture face is nice but this is a scar oh this is like um uh arms bending but it's uh so yeah this was weird this is weird it doesn't accurately represent that so let's see but let me use high strength and a little bit of clarity so i will be re-enhancing that again so this is weird uh the this uh blood out quite different from what we have here also uh it's not yeah this is not good this is not good this one is not good so but the images are exploded also they are different from like the initial size they were uploaded with so we have the next one that we just announced let's see what it came up with okay uh yeah this is a bit better but not so it got the um the arm or your elbow being folded but yeah this is turning to hair instead of a scarf so no and um we would be using like an abstract art next for our next one so we'll be using an abstract art just to see. So I want to see how an abstract or like art can be improved. And this time they all like have almost close, close values for the strength, the resemblance and clarity. So and, uh, this is what we have. Uh, sort of 
sort of is very very sharp sharper than expected damn it looks very sharp and it's a bit it's a bit scary to watch so there's that so uh, there's some extra air there's something here there's a note here there are multiple faces here there's something here also but yeah and uh, that's it for this video we we check their pricing also in their pricing they have this they have the basic pro and max it's pretty okay to use i would say from all we have tried it's pretty okay to use for partially blurry pictures and their free tier is okay i used their free tier in this video so you just have to play with some of this to see what suits you more and just note that the stronger the ai strength the more detailed or the more compute power to help you achieve your goal you can also modify the prompt if you feel like there are some things missing because it uses the prompt to enhance the image and that's it for this video bye